Hi there again. Today I want to talk to you about strategy. Strategy and development cooperation communications, which is a big issue because planning takes over. Before you even decided on your strategy, I mean any kind of strategy that's worth being called a strategy, somebody comes, well, we've uh, always been to this event. We've always done the annual report. We, um, we have this nice new camera now, and then there's also this guy that I know and so forth. So you have that element, you know. Obviously, you should go along a little bit with, with what kind of guns you have available to you. But the basic idea of strategy is that you look at the possible impact that you want to have. And you choose whatever is the most appropriate means to get there, or the set of means that will take you there. Now, I once worked with a project that had a huge grant from the European Commission for Communications and uh, the grant determined that within a certain small time frame, in order to secure the grant, um, you would have to determine each tool that you want to use, including whether it's an A5 document, 36 pages or 72 pages, three quotes and all that. Obviously, not even the stakeholders had, it, had decided on the basic strategy. It was a complete nonsense to produce this sort of um, filled out microfiche or whatever it was and come up with some ideas on how this whole rollout would be. This is actually the part where planning is not only not conducive to your impact and your strategy, it hinders you from getting anywhere close to what you want to intend uh, what, what you had intended and this bugs me because I want to tell you I hear all the time well what about this communication stuff I mean it doesn't really bring that impact it's not all that useful I agree use less useless communications use less planning where there you need strategy come up with strategy and then plan but don't overdo it because as Mike Tyson already said, everybody had a plan until he got one on the mouth. Thank you very much.